This bike was nicknamed the Widowmaker in the 60s, largely because it could go faster than it could stop. Motorcycle engines had been evolving rapidly over the decades, but the brake systems remained relatively unchanged for about 50 years. Finally, in 69, Honda made the technological leap to hydraulic disc brakes for the first time on a motorcycle with their CB750 Supersport. Within a few years, every manufacturer worth their salt was boasting hydraulic brakes on their biggest and best models. Fast forward 50 plus years, and the effectiveness of those old brake systems holds up surprisingly well. The rubber parts, not so much. Their biggest weakness is the hydraulic lines that break down and let moisture into the system. This wreaks havoc on the metal components and congeals the brake fluid until everything locks up. I love restoring everything I can on these old bikes, but anything made before the 90s, new brake lines are the way to go. For the last 15 years, I've experimented with all of the big brands, and Spiegler has been my favorite to work with so far. That being said, any quality brand will be a huge upgrade from the Krusty Originals. There's a lot of benefits to using high-end Teflon core steel braided hoses like these, but what matters most to me is that they totally seal moisture out of your system while being more rigid so that all of your braking force at the lever will go straight to the caliper piston and not get lost in expanding the rubber hoses, which can make the brake feel spongy and inconsistent. This is probably the best bolt-on upgrade I can suggest for any old bike to update the feel, make it safer, and stop more reliably. I hope this helps and ride safe.